my name is Danita Watkins, and I'm here to bring you an amazing new program. If you're ready to give your participants a new challenge, you're going to want to try this program. In this program, the key number is three. So I take three moves and I introduce it into an interval style programming. I also make this more challenging by introducing straight moves without, throughout the program as well, which makes it unique and challenging. Give me a rocket, up, push up high, heel jump, forward and back, rockets up, squeezing your legs together. Now give me a front kick and a back kick, front kick. Now with this move, I want you to lift your toes as high as you can and then to the back. Now give me a jack and three kicks, jack, three, two, one, out, lift, up to the surface and give me those push and pulls. I call these wave pushers because you're making waves. These are double wave pushers as you push the water from side to side. Now this time we're going back to the first move. You're going to tuck out and slide in. Your feet on the bottom. Pull them in. Slide fast. Take it toes forward and out. As you lift your toes forward, I need you to lift them up to the top of the water and then Take your toes out to the top of the water. I use interval work throughout this whole program to make it more challenging and to give my participants not knowing what they're going to expect. I also want to make sure that you understand that you can interchange these moves throughout the whole workout. You can even use a theme with this as sports themes and holiday themes to give this a unique flavor to this workout. So just remember also that you can modify these moves as well. Now give me those eight punches forward and toe touch twice up to the surface. Eight punches, punch it really fast, make the water move and toe up. Now we're doing single, single, double with a karate kick. This time you're gonna take that double and karate kick. You're gonna push forward and then push back. This is a chest press tricep combo. Good job, jump shots. Up and out. So what we're doing here though, we're gonna add a dribble like we're really playing basketball. Jump shot and then dribble the ball on the right. Move number three is a crunch, lifting knees high and toe tap. No rebounding is required here. You wanna do as much ab, let your abs do as much work with this move as you can. We're gonna move on to move number two. Give me a scissor kick. Bend it to one side and then move to the next side. Remember, modifications can be used for suspended moves. Now let's take it to an upper body move. I call this the elbow smash. Squeezing our back, pushing your elbows, squeeze. Lots of intensity here. We're gonna go back to our soccer kick. This is our first move in round two. This is a wide soccer kick, side soccer kick. My class loves boot camp trifecta because it gives them a great workout. So if you are going, going to teach this or exercising along with us, just remember it is the power behind the three. And you can view this video on fitmotivation.com.